Electrostatics Electrostatics is a branch of physics which deals with the study of behavior of bodies having electrical charges. The study of electricity or electric charges at rest is known as electrostatics. The electricity developed on the objects when they are rubbed with each other is called frictional electricity. When two substances are rubbed together, some electrons are removed from the atoms on the surface of one and transferred to the other. The body which gains electrons is negatively charged and the other which loses electrons is positively charged. Examples of Frictional Electricity Clouds rub against each other and produce lightning. In winter, if a rubber comb is run fast through dry hair, the comb attracts small pieces of paper. Principle of Conservation of Charges Electrical charge can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it is transferred from one part of a system to another part of the system, so that the total charge of an isolated system remains constant. Coulomb's Law If the charges on the two bodies are like charges, that is both positive or both negative, the bodies repel each other. If the charges are unlike charges, the bodies attract each other. Coulomb in 1785 first measured electrical charges and repulsions quantitatively and deduced the law that governs them. Coulomb's Law states that the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion between two point electric charges at rest is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The force acts along the line joining the charges. F is equal to C into Q1 Q2 upon R square, where C is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0. When charges are in vacuum, C is equal to into bracket M raised to 1, L raised to 3, T raised to minus 4, I raised to minus 2, bracket complete. If Q1 and Q2 are measured in Coulomb, R is measured in meter and F is in Newton, then 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 nm square upon c square. Epsilon 0 is equal to 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12 c square upon nm square. Definition of 1 Coulomb one coulomb is defined as the magnitude of that charge if placed one meter distance apart from a charge of the same magnitude and sign will repel the later with the electrostatic force of 9 into 10 raised to 9 newton. If q1 and q2 are situated in medium of permittivity epsilon then f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 upon r square where epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 k k is equal to epsilon upon epsilon 0 is called the dielectric constant of the medium. The ratio of the permittivity of the medium to the permittivity of vacuum is called dielectric constant of the medium. For air or vacuum, k is equal to 1. For metals, k is equal to infinity. For other media, k is greater than 1. Force between multiple electric charges. The principle of superposition gives the method to find the force on a charge when a group of charges are interacting. Superposition principle of forces. When a number of charges are interacting, the total force on a given charge is the vector sum of individual forces exerted on the given charge by all other charges. Concept of charge density. To get the quantitative idea of charge distribution, the concept of charge density is developed. Depending upon the distribution of charge, the term charge density is used in three different ways. Linear charge density. 
When a charge is distributed uniformly over a thin conductor in space, the charge per unit length of conductor is called linear density. Lambda is equal to Q upon L, where Q is a charge distributed uniformly over a thin conductor of length L. The SI unit of linear charge density is coulomb per meter. Dimensions of lambda is equal to bracket m raised to 0, l raised to minus 1, t raised to 1, i raised to 1, bracket complete. Surface charge density Sigma When the charge is distributed uniformly over an area in space, then charge per unit area is called surface charge density. Sigma is equal to Q upon A, where Q is the charge distributed uniformly over the area A. SI unit of sigma is C upon M square. Sigma is equal to bracket M raised to 0, L raised to minus 2, T raised to 1, I raised to 1, bracket complete. Volume charge density, rho. When the charge is distributed uniformly over a volume in space, then charge per unit volume is called volume charge density. Rho is equal to Q upon V, where Q is the charge distributed uniformly over a volume V. SI unit of charge density is C upon M cube. Dimensions of rho is bracket M raised to zero L raised to minus 3, T raised to 1, I raised to 1, bracket complete. Electric field. The space surrounding an electric charge in which any other electric charge experiences a force is called the electric field of the charge. Electric field intensity, vector E. The electric field intensity due to a point charge at any point in the electric field is defined as the electrostatic force exerted by it on a unit positive charge placed at that point. Vector E is equal to vector F upon Q. The electric intensity at a point is a vector quantity. The direction of electric field intensity is same as that of electrostatic force acting on the positive test charge. The SI unit of electric intensity is N upon C or V upon M. E is equal to into bracket M raised to 1, L raised to 1, T raised to minus 3, I raised to minus 1 bracket complete. Expression for an electric field intensity due to a point charge Q. E is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 Q upon R square, where E is equal to magnitude of electric field intensity and epsilon 0 is equal to permittivity of free space. Electric potential. The electric potential at a point in electric field is defined as the amount of work done to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to that point. Electric potential is a scalar quantity and denoted by V. SI unit of V is J upon C or volt. V is equal to into bracket M raised to 1, L raised to 2, T raised to minus 3, I raised to minus 1 bracket complete. Expression for the electric potential due to a point charge Q is V is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q upon R. The relation between electric field intensity and potential E is equal to minus dV upon dx. The electric field intensity at any point in the electric field is equal to negative rate of change of potential with respect to distance at that point, measured in the direction of electric intensity. Electron volt 
An electron volt is defined as the amount of energy gained by an electron when it is displaced from one point to another point whose potential is higher by one volt. The potential energy gained by charge is equal to work done, which is equal to charge into potential difference. Therefore, W is equal to QV. One electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb into 1 volt. Therefore, 1 EV is equal to 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules. Electric dipole. The two equal and opposite electric point charges separated by a finite distance form an electric dipole. Electric dipole moment. The product of magnitude of one of the charge and the distance between two charges forms electric dipole is called the dipole moment P of the electric dipole. P is equal to Q into 2L. Electric dipole moment vector P is a vector directed from negative to the positive charge. SI unit of dipole moment is Cm. Vector P is equal to bracket m raised to 0, l raised to 1, t raised to 1, i raised to 1, bracket complete. When the axis of electric dipole makes an angle theta with the direction of electric field, the moment of couple acting on the electric dipole is tau. Tau is equal to P e sin theta. Vector tau is equal to vector P cross vector E. If theta is 90 degrees, sin theta is 1. Tau is equal to P E. If E is equal to 1, then tau is equal to P. Dipole moment of an electric dipole is equal to the moment of couple acting on the dipole which held with its axis perpendicular to a uniform electric field of unit intensity. Electric lines of force. Faraday gave the pictorial representation of the electric field. He represented electric field with the help of electric lines of force. The line of force is defined as a curve such that the tangent at any point to this curve gives the direction of the non-uniform electric field at that point. Thus, the path along which the unit positive charge moves in an electric field is called line of force. Properties of electric lines of force The lines of force originate from a positively charged conductor and end on negatively charged conductor. The lines of force leave or end on a conductor normally. The lines of force neither intersect nor meet each other. The lines of force do not pass through a conductor. That is, electric field inside the conductor is always zero, but it passes through insulator. The lines of force have a tendency to contract along their lengths. This property explains the attraction between unlike charges. Lines of force have a tendency to exert a lateral pressure on each other. This property explains the repulsion between like charges. Magnitude of electric field intensity is proportional to the number of lines of force per unit area of the surface held perpendicular to the field. The electric lines of force are crowded in a region where electric intensity is large and electric lines of force are widely separated from each other in a region whose electric intensity is small. In uniform electric field, electric lines of force are parallel to each other and equally spaced. Electric flux. The electric flux d phi passing through the area vector ds is given by d phi is equal to bracket e cos theta bracket complete into bracket ds bracket complete which is equal to vector e dot vector ds. The total electric flux through the whole surface area is given by phi is equal to integral vector e 
dot vector ds. The SI unit of electric flux is Vm. Electric flux is defined as the total number of electric lines of force crossing the surface in a direction normal to the surface. Electric flux density. It is defined as the electric flux per unit area. Electric flux density is electric field intensity. Phi upon S is equal to E which is equal to electric flux density. The SI unit of electric flux density is V upon M.